back to my channel. So today I'm going to do the much anticipated update for my project level up. It's anticipated for me because I've been holding off filming this and I still don't have the progress that I was hoping to have by this point. I'm just like, I'm struggling. I'm struggling, I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling. So if you don't know, this project was created by Sophie Alexandra. I have a channel linked in my description, so go check out her video. She does a lot of project planning videos and she created this planning project where you need to hit pan on as many number of shades depending on what level you are in a palette and also use all those shades depending on what level you are. So I'm level five, so I need to hit five pans in a palette and use every single shade five times. So I have been working on this one, What's Your Power from Gloss Gods? This is a discontinued palette of theirs, but when I rolled this in, I was so excited. You could see it on my face. I was so excited. It was right at the beginning of summer or like midsummer, And I was like, you know what? This is going to be great for the summer. I did not use it over the summer. And then ever since, it's just been such a struggle. It's been such a struggle. So anyway, this is where we are. Um, I'll put up on the screen what it looked like last time. I think last time I had hit one pan. I think that's, I think that's where we are. And I still did not use all of the shades five times. You can see it's super colorful. So it's just been hard because I haven't been into super bright neon colors as of late. So <laughs> it's been a little bit difficult. Um, and also I do find the Gloss Gods mattes harder to hit pan on than their shimmers. So there's like a double whammy here. Anyway, I will show you what it looks like now. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we do have a pan, but I did talk about this in, I think my beauty bank. Didn't I not speak about this in my beauty bank? If I didn't, then it was right after my beauty bank that I hit pan in that shade. But now I have two pans in this palette. I do have a little bit more use, but it's still looking pretty bare, I have to say. It has been a struggle, but we'll go through the uses and also my thoughts because I am feeling like I wanna roll in my level one. So I think we're gonna do that today. I was hoping to be a little bit further along with this palette because I'm already struggling with this one. However, level one is such a lovely, lovely little level <laughs> where I would only need to use, it's basically would be a no pan left behind. So I'd need to use like every single eyeshadow pan in the, the palette that I pick and only one pan I have to hit, which could be pretty easy unless I roll in a really big palette with not much use to it. So I don't know, we'll see, this might be a mistake. But anyway, let's go through my uses first. Okay, so there are there are some that I did not need to use because I'd already used them five times or more. So these two I had already used five times. Um, so this first one here, Valuable, I've used three times. I actually don't need to use it any more times, but it is one of the shades that I want to hit pan on. So I am obviously trying to focus on it a little bit. I've just not done a lot of uh, red looks, um, to be fair. So it's been a little bit of struggle, that one as well. The next up, I've got Optimistic. So this one I actually need to use three times, and I have now. So that one I won't be needing to go back into. Then we've got Curious, which yeah, is this one. I need to use it one more time and I've done that now. Moving on to Powerful, I did not need to use that any more times, but it is one of the pans that I wanted to hit pan on. And as you can see, I have done that. So super excited. It's a very similar sort of uh, shimmer formula as to this one. So it got quite flaky in the end. These ones are not the same. Like these two are definitely more of that you'll need like a tiny bit and it's like, it goes a long way. Whereas these two, I mean, you can see that the texture is a little bit different of these two. And I feel like this one and this one, the texture is different as well. Although maybe the more times that you just use it, the more the texture changes. I don't know, but this one you can see is all, is very like flaky. So it wasn't actually that hard to hit pan on that one. And then we've got Ambitious. So this is another one where I actually did all my uses towards it, but it is one of my focus pans. And you can see, I do have a little bit of a crater forming. And I basically have just been putting this in my inner corner. I could have done it today, but I was really just sick of doing that. <laughs> I've done it three times already this week alone. I actually went into it four times this month. So I think next time I'll have a pan in this. Um, I quite like the fact that I, for the most part, don't have a lot more usage goals anymore. It's mostly just hitting pans, so I could just go in and focus on 
one or two shades. Whereas in this case for this palette, I need three more pans. Um, and the shades that I'm concentrating on is this one, this one, and this one. So moving on to this one, this one's called Inspiring. And I used it three times. And as you can see, that also has a little bit of a crater. And I think that one will be my next pan. So I think I will have a pan in these two by next update. I'm not sure about this one, to be fair, but we can always dream and, and pray <laughs> that it will happen. Okay, and then next up, we've got Courageous. So this one, I needed to use three more times. I've used it twice, so I have one more use on this shade right here. And then we, the, finally, we've got Bold. This one, I need to use four more times, and I have used it three times. So I have one more use on that one as well. So really, in terms of usage goals, it's just these two that I need to worry about, uh, and then also the pans. So that's why I'm feeling like I think I'm ready to go to the next level, especially since the next level is level one, and I think it will be a pleasure to do that. So as much as this has been a struggle, I have persevered and I'm pushing forward and I do see where the pans are gonna come from now. And those other two shades where I just need to use them once each, I can just do one look with them and actually incorporate the green shimmer that I'm trying to hit pan on. And I think potentially I could do it in that in a look where it's a look I've already done before and I could just do it again. I just have been really, really sick of doing like greeny looks lately, especially since I have my Earthly from Beauty Bay that I'm working on. Ugh. I don't know, I like green, but I also don't like it sometimes. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to randomly select the next palette. However, I'm going to allow myself to veto it. So if a palette is rolled in A, for one thing, if it's already in a project, I don't want to roll it into this project. So that one alone, I would not I would always do. But really, the new rule is if I don't want to do it for my level one, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to, you know, torture myself just because this level five has been pretty difficult. I feel like it's going to be another difficult palette for me to reach. For instance, like my P. Louise has got like 50 shades in there. Uh, if that one is pulled for level one, no, no thank you. No, that would just take me forever. It would be a great way for me to figure out that palette, but I don't think I'm at that point where I want to do that. All right, here we go. We are rolling. We. This is always exciting and fun, but also terrifying. <laughs> what have we got? Lethal Earth. Okay. Okay, I was about to say that's already in a project. It actually isn't. That could be a really good one for level one because I do want to go back into that palette. I don't know what it is about my lethal palettes. I just got these in September, like right at the end of August. And then I started using them in September and three out of the four have all been rolled into projects where I've had palettes sit in my collection for like a year and they've never been rolled into projects. What is going on? What is going on? Anyway, this is part of the Avatar collection that they uh, released, the last Airbender collection. I've been speaking about this a lot because they just keep being rolled in. I have my, I have the air one was rolled into my Pamela's eyeshadows, which is now rolled out. And then the water one is rolled into my Pamela's eyeshadows. So both of those have been rolled into my Pamela's eyeshadows. And now we've got this one potentially rolled in as my project level one. Yeah, I think I, I think I can do it. It's a green. <laughs> I just said I was sick of green though. Okay, okay, let's let's think about this. It is a green palette. I just said I was sick of greens. However, it's level one and it would give me a good opportunity to go into this. It would be very easy to use all nine shades at least once. It's just about hitting pan. I do, I have a hit pan actually in the air palette so far and that was a matte but it was a it was like a my color my skin coat my skin tone like it was just a nothing color so it was very easy for me to just use a fluffy brush and go in there the other one i'm trying to hit pan on is a shimmer which i haven't hit pan on it yet i'm just wondering do i really want it do i really want to roll this in for my level one or do i roll again see what that is and then compare between the two I did say I was gonna allow myself to kind of be a little bit picky this time. I think I'm gonna roll again. This is not a no, but if the next one is an absolute no, then I will keep with the earth. If the next one makes a little bit more sense because it's not a green palette, <laughs> then uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, 
All right, I, I'm just, I, I don't want to be mean to myself. It's the end of the year. Let's all just relax and be nice to each other. Um, Sigma Corda Rosa. Ooh. So if you know me at all, you know that I have always been disappointed with this palette. I bought it because I love the color story. I've never tried from Sigma. It's my only Sigma palette. And I've never enjoyed it, aside from maybe one time when I did a seven palettes in a week video, which I do plan to do again. I just haven't done it again. So this is what it looks like. I do actually have a pan in here. I, ha I, I hit pan in that one in a pan those eyeshadows, or was it my Zodiac pan or one of the two? This one I think would be easier to hit pan on, to be fair, because there are a bunch of lighter shades. However, uh, there are more shades to use. I'm thinking this might be surprising because I do want to go back into this palette. I just worried about the hitting pan part because honestly using all nine shades, that that's just like maybe two looks and then I'm done. But the hitting the pan part, aside from the middle shade, I just don't think there's any other shade in here that I really want to hit pan on. And since I'm, I have my earthly palette, that is already part of my pan, like panning in order, pan that palette in order. Yeah, pan that palette in order. Um, I'm already getting burned out with green. So I think I'm gonna go with the Sigma Corda Rosa as much as I, as, as, it kind of pains me to say, but there are shades in here that I know I could hit pan on and get and use in a conjunction with other palettes maybe more easily. I think straight away this one I could probably hit pan on this veranda shade because again it's a lighter shade it's a little bit no it is a matte but like a satin but it's a matte so that one straight away I think I would probably want to hit pan in or I think I always like campfire but that's one of their shimmers so I don't know I don't know how easy it is to hit pan on one of their shimmers I think I'm going to keep this one in for sure um, as opposed to this one. This one's still around because I did say I wanted to do some more looks with this palette, but I think I'm just gonna do that separately and not hate myself. You know what I mean? I think I think I think that's a good plan. So yeah, we're gonna go with this one. I did say that I was gonna allow myself to do that. Is that the right thing to do? This does have a little bit more shades, but they all kind of work and and they're very cohesive. A lot of neutral shades and also I'm kind of into my pinks and my purples. This is not very cool tone. I'm into more cool tone shades at the moment, but I can see myself going into this quite a bit more to be able to do a level one with it. So yeah, I'm going to roll this one in. Uh, this has also been like the chopping block of like be potentially being decluttered. So like the fact that I'm going to spend time going back into this palette is that really something I want to do? But I think ultimately it is because there's just too many greens in here and I just don't know what I would want to hit pan on. I want to use this palette when I feel like using it and I don't feel like using it right now in terms of like a project. All right, so also I feel like this, not that I need to use these shades all that much more, but I think these shades tie in nicely with these ones. So we just look at our What's Your Power palette again. I am trying to hit pan on a valuable shade right here. And I really feel like that would marry, marry, marry really nicely with a couple of these pinks. Cause these pinks are not as vibrant as the pink in here. This one is very, very neon bubblegum pink. And I haven't really wanted to go into that shade. So the fact that I can maybe use a couple of these more neutral leaning pinks, I say neutral, they're just a little bit less in your face. I think that would actually really work out. And also some of these shimmers could probably dim down the vibrancy of that valuable shade, which I have been using another shade of my Panda's eyeshadows to minimize it because it is ultra, it's very bright. And Belle of the Bull, as much as I don't like it, it is a topper shade and that, that might help neutralize the brightness of that shade. So actually, yeah, I think it makes sense to have these two together side by side. Obviously the greens in here don't really make sense, but I will be able to probably get that done in like at least two looks, I would say. One, hopefully, 
but you know, maximum two looks I could get those done. So yeah, I think that's gonna be my new level one. I'm actually kind of happy with that. I think I'm a little bit more relieved. I think if I kept the green one, I would just be uh, cursing myself, I think. So yeah, anyway, that is my update for my project level up. Thank you so much for watching. D did I do the right thing? Would you have kept the earth? I think the earth ultimately is a more beautiful palette and I do prefer the quality of Lethal, especially the, the, the palettes that I have over the Sigma. But I think as a color story and what I'm feeling right now, that's the best decision for me. So let me know if you think I did the wrong thing. But anyway, thank you so much and I'll see you all next time. Bye.